Our tale of the tape for this flyweight fight. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Tim Elliott. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, and ultimate fighter season winner, John the Magician Dotson. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we are in the Brick City, Newark, New Jersey, inside Prudential Center. I can think of a lot of fighters that have had big moments inside these walls. Colby Covington, Anthony Rumble Johnson with a big knockout back in the day. We'll see who shines in front of this capacity crowd tonight. This is a great arena, but my memory goes to the one time that a guy at the barbershop tried to give me a hairline. He painted me a full-on black hairline. I said, you know what, I can't go to the arena looking like this. I can't show up for fights looking like I'm 17 years old. So I washed it off and went and watched a fantastic fight. That's a true story, by it's the way. It's a really true. Tried to Carlos Boozer. You tried to Boozer, your boy. <laughs> it was picture day for DC. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a really high pace, too. It's a really high striking pace for these two. Straight punch is good. Elliott gets lit up by that straight punch. Oh my goodness, what a kick! Useful strike there, the hook is clean. Fighters exchange in the pocket here. Don't stop, don't stop. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He threw that one with all the <laughs> Cannot take too many hills. Oh. Just over three minutes to go round one. Elliott's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, misses with the jab. Over oh, still hurts. Look at that. He can't even stand. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He's hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have now landed for John Dodson. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over the Oh, he's on wobbly legs now. Back to his feet. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. I need you to get that takedown now. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Nice jab by John Dodson. Oh, you land I land, is that what we're doing here? All right, let's go, let's go. Strong straight left there. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swelling. Makes a perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. 
Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Thirty seconds now to go in the opening round. So no judges needed tonight as he pounds him out for the TKO. I'm hoping I get an invite to the after party. <laughs> I mean, just landed that beautiful kick right under the ribs. You could see immediately the effect that it took on his opponent as his opponent went back to the edge of the octagon, fell down to the ground, and he finished the fight. The decision is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, John the Magician Dodson! So the magician John Dodson with yet another big performance here tonight. I'm just not sure there's a fighter on the roster who enjoys his day job as much as Dodson does. That is one pure athlete right there and a guy who very well could be the UFC Bantamweight champion before his career is said and done.